Take heed of my words. Hear and absorb, for they are the lifeline to which you may cling. My words are given for the illumination of many, and in these times remember only my love. For great is my love, love unconditional and detached, is of the purest. Love alone will dissolve all disturbance. Love will create a day of glory, for divine beings will announce their presence. A day to rejoice is dawning, and there will be no turning back. For many have called, their voices have indeed been greeted by love. And love will descend for no other will come between my children and their destiny. And I call to you, for I am your path. I am your guide. There is no separation. So come to me and rest in my arms says the beloved risen cosmic Christ. And I will hold you this very day. I will heal all. And those who dwell in peace will come into the open. Those whose hearts know only love will join hand in hand with others, and they will walk fearlessly to create a glorious future. So hold tight, for your heart will be tested again, and those whom you trusted will give voice to anxiety. Those who claim knowledge of me will bar your way. For many call, Lord, Lord, and know not who they call, and know not who they call. Many would cause entrapment of your heart, and yet for each one that I ask to be strong in my name, many would deny and know that there can be no covering of evil. For it is time to come. Love alone will prevail. This is the truth that has no end. So come to me now in purity of heart. Come in innocence and delight and know that all is well, and all is in order. The words I have shared with you are not my words. They are the words from the risen cosmic Christ Jesus. Who stands before you and me right now, speaking to our hearts calling us, pleading with us to listen to our heart. This is a wonderful time to be in and to be a part of the mystery where ancient prophecies reveal to holy men like Abraham and Moses, Enoch and Ezekiel, many centuries ago are now being fulfilled before your eyes and mine. And this is a glorious time 
because we shall see the face of the cosmic Christ. He has promised it. And though many try to account in their own words, they do not speak for the Master. They speak their own words, pretending it comes from the Master. I do not speak my words. I read what has been given by the Cosmic Christ Himself. And these words are true, and they will liberate the heart, and they will set the heart free. So let us come now. Let us embrace a short time of stillness around this sacred table where there is much love. Let us relax now. Let us call on the Supreme. Let us call on the company of heaven. And let us use the greatest gift that God the Supreme could give to his her children. The gift of free will knowing that many will reject God, not the God of fear of our ancestors, but a God of love, God of peace, and a God who does not enslave their children to a mindset of narrow-mindedness and bitching but to an open heart that's willing to listen to the voice of the Beloved. So we call on the company of heaven. We call on Mother Earth, Beloved Gaia, Mother Mary, Kuan Yin, Magdalena. We call on all the great ascended masters, Lord Ketumi, Lord El Moha, Lord Maitreya, Lord Babaji, Lord Saint Germain, Lord Merlin, Lord Walco, Lady Nada, Lady Portia, Lady Athena, all the great masters with our spiritual teachers. Let us call on them and let us invite them now to come and assist us in discerning what is God saying to my heart on this the 17th of September. Let us focus now on our in-breath. Our in-breath is our sacred breath because we breathe in the love of God. Shall we begin? Be comfortable, feel relaxed, and just be aware that you are in the presence of love. And there is no harm here, and nothing, nothing can disturb you unless you allow it. And as we breathe in now, be aware that we are breathing in the love of the Cosmic Christ. And now we release all our tiredness and weariness, any tension, any fear. And we give them to Mother Earth. And as we take another deep, non-labored breath, let us hold it and release that love. And now, let us empty our mind of all negativity and just connect now with the rhythm of your breathing and feel at one within your mind, your body and your higher self. Experience the touch of the Supreme. Experience the touch of selfless love. 
and as we gather around this sacred table, we know that we are loved. Because we were called by name to sit at this table. And now as we close our eyes, we visualize a place that conjures many memories for us, good memories, memories to do with childhood. It may be a favorite place in the park, it may be by the boating lake, or it may be sat on a rock by a great ocean. Picture that place and allow the rays of Brother Sun calm you, restore you, and allow you to feel and sense your heartbeat, your precious heartbeat. A heartbeat that has witnessed much sadness, but now there is a calm in the breeze. There is a stillness in the air and we know we are loved. And as we sit and relax, just allow Mother Earth with the elementals, the divas and the angels of the animal kingdom come to you. And all around you, you are aware of the divine. You can sense it through your senses. As you breathe in, you can become aware of the love, of the fragrance of the air that you breathe. It is pure, not contaminated. And as you see, you can see beauty before you. You can see all that the mind can accommodate. You can see the Cathedral of Nature, the Cathedral of God, wherein you live and experience the healing touch of the Cosmic Christ. And you can hear through your sense of hearing the exquisite sounds of the ocean, the birds are singing, and there is a peace that allows you relax and just be still. Be still in the presence of all that is. And with every in-breath, you are relaxing your mind. You are releasing all negativity and stress and it leaves you in a place of feeling loved, wanted, special. And with every in-breath that you breathe in, there is a surge of love coming from the rays of Brother Sun, preparing you to receive the healing touch of the Cosmic Christ. And by the rock in front of the ocean, you see a small boat nearing you. And in that boat, you can see the outline of a figure. Not too sure what it is yet, but you are aware that that boat, that rowing boat, is coming towards you. And the swell on the sea brings it much quicker to you. And now you can see the outline of a young man. And he seems happy and smiling and excited. And you're thinking there's someone behind you. They're coming to greet them. But as the boat docks beside you, you can sense there is no one there but you. 
So you get up, you reach out your hand, and you help them onto the rocks. And they sit with you. And at first you're unsure, but there's a warmth in your heart that tells you this is not a stranger. This is like a friend, someone who knows me, really knows me. And then you look into their eyes, and there you see the face of the Christ the Beloved, who has come to speak with you. And as you both sit and relax, in the silence and the embrace of touch, there is a healing, there is a stirring in your heart to relinquish all the memories, all the pain and trauma of your life. And there is an opportunity to say thank you. Thank you for the pleasant memories, for the good people that you have met on your journey, and for your abundance as a child of God. And in this sacred place, in this sacred encounter, there is unconditional love. And that love is all-embracing. That love is electric. And it allows you to be yourself. It allows you to embrace yourself. It allows you to look at yourself for the first time in your life and see what God sees. That you are a beautiful child of God. And that your heart is on fire with love of the Supreme. And as you close your eyes, your head is nestled on the shoulder of the Beloved. And you can sense his hand gently, very gently, caress your head. And with each touch, there is even a greater release of the shadows and the demons that you have hid even from yourself buried much deep in your subconscious mind and you sense a lightness and that lightness is leaving you in a place of complete stillness feel it embrace it allow it touch you now with every in breath that love is affirming you that you are a beloved of God, that you are a loved child of God. And there's no condemnation, even ridicule. There is a total acceptance and regardless of what has happened in our life, we sense that we are being given a new start, a new beginning, a new dawn. Just relax and allow your heartbeat become entwined with the heartbeat of the Cosmic Christ. And now they are one. The two heartbeats have become one. And the words that you hear 
are words you have had heard before from the prophet Ezekiel. I shall pour clean water over you, and you will be cleansed. I shall cleanse you of your defilement and all your idols. I shall give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you now. I shall remove the heart of stone from your body and give you a heart of flesh instead. I shall put my spirit in you now and make you keep my laws and sincerely respect my observances. And with that, you sit, you relax, and you really find your true self. And the Master has returned. But to your left you see something very special. A word has been written in the sand by the rock. And it's a word that will be revealed to you when you next come in silence to the Cosmic Christ. And that word is the word that you've been searching for all your life. Let us be still. Let us treasure this moment. But more importantly, let us feel the healing love of a loving God who seeks your freedom from entrapment, from control and fear, and asks only this of your heart, that you will love yourself, that you will embrace the mystical heart of God's love in yourself, that you will be kind to yourself, and that you will honor the divine who resides within yourself. And now, as we take a deep breath, we come back into the room where we are, and there is a lightness and a freedom to love again. Let us be still now. Let us be still. And the words from the mantra ring true. I am a beloved child of God. I am loved for who I am. I am accepted for who I am. Because I am love. I hold this flame to you to represent the Supreme's love for all of us. Let this flame of love anoint you and appoint you to offer your hands, your feet, and your beating heart to become an ambassador of peace. And I say to you now, Namaste, Shalom, Inshallah, Bhagset Bona, Om Shanti, Solo de Caritas, Peace. You take care and know, and know that you are loved. Know that you are truly the gift of love. Until we meet again, you take care.